higher yeah um, sorry i am just uh, having some issue with the the live video first okay so i will start again so i am trying to show how to develop this uh, project settings okay so just uh, give me one second i will i'll show you this this one okay so uh, i will start with the the new new projects okay so so this is the interface for the rivet this this video is totally for the new beginners those who are trying to start with the electrical beam modeling so this is totally related to the new the fresh person who, who are working started or just passed out for this uh, engineering or some other technical sites so once you open the rivet window so you will be get the interface like this so you can get some sample files from here okay for example plumbing hvc electrical something like that so you can just click on this electrical sample projects i will show you just uh, what are the interface over there i will start you uh, start with one of one um, one by one the tools and everything so you will be get a more idea about these things uh, it is taking little time so this is the one of this sample file created by autodesk so one thing like you can see here the properties and here is the project browser right so this is uh, just a project done by uh, autodesk uh, this is the like one of the uh, interface for the cover sheets for the projects okay so every project having this kind of things is okay so you need to create some uh, all the uh, cover pages like this all the images and whoever working with the what that uh, uh, the projects so you can get that more idea about these things okay so in the project wise you can see here views this is an important tool okay so you need to just uh, see what are the things over in the project browser in the project browser you can you can browse all the things this is a very important tool in a rivet and is, here is the property also that is also very important so you can you can expand these things okay so you will be get the coordination this is a this is called a discipline under the views it will come a discipline and uh, even electrical also this is a discipline and even the you can expand the coordination so these are the sub disciplines you can get this these, these all the things are the sub discipline for that one and even even you click the lighting so you you, you will be get like a, uh, this lighting is there sub discipline in uh, electrical uh, sorry sorry in this in this is a coordination so this is the discipline for the electrical so these are the sub discipline for the like uh, for plants uh, all the all the will this will be coming as sub discipline for example power distribution design okay so you can come to the pro property you can see here discipline is the electrical right and uh, sub discipline you can see from here like uh, sub discipline they are correct uh, created like a concept power design so this is a sub discipline so like that it, it was showing so this is just a for an introduction how we can uh, develop the things okay so i'm just clicking off from here the views and everything so once you need to uh, you you need to create the old views over here only okay so you need to understand about the project wise and then you need to uh, create the views and legends and all the details come come under this project browser for example here you can see some of the conduits arrangement and everything so if, if you need the get a 3d view just select that one and you can go to the 3d view yeah see you can see clearly the 3d view of this one and you can see a lot of things are there okay levels and everything is here so if you don't want to show that one what we will do we just need to type a vv okay vv is the visibility graphics over right so this is the important uh, thing uh, in one of the important 
uh, command in the rivet so it's called VV visibility graphics so you can control the things from here okay for good model categories are there so all the models are come under this model category and you can get the annotations uh, and tags from these annotation tags and here you can filter it also so for example if you need only architectural you can just uh, uncheck all the other things and search check architectural things so it will come so I'm just clicking this one like uh, uh, you can you can get all the things okay just uh, show all and we need to just uh, hide this uh, the green colors showing over here so that is a scope boxes I will show you I already created some videos but this is for the just uh, new beginners this is a part part one I will I'll teach you daily one hour uh, the things like this and go to the annotation tab annotation category just uh, type uh, yes and then you will be get a scope box is okay right so then just to click on that one click OK so what will happen it will go so here you can see some other levels also it was showing so it is related to architectural link okay so what we can do we just need to type again VV and go to revert link you can see this this is the this is the uh, linked files for that one so just click on this by host view and go to custom and model annotation category come under here just click on custom just type uh, grid okay type on search on grid and click ok click ok so that will go on. like that we can control the uh, grids and everything so maybe the unit maybe it, it was not under that one okay so just uh, uh, revert link is snow down tower sample architecture you can see here okay so just again go to vv revert link uh, architectural okay so annotation category just check a level so we off the uh, grid right so we need the off the levels okay just click on that one click ok click ok so that will go so the architectural grid was offered and even this is this is also you can off it okay so if you need that one you can you can off, uh, simply off all the things and here you can change the scales and everything so for example if you need this for the scale so uh, you can change it that one and you can give the find from here and the realistic view you can get it from here so like that we can arrange all the things in a rivet and here what we need to do you just need to change the scale like that if you need to give a more so you can give the more more scales and you can see the, all the levels and uh, other things are here okay sorry and you, you, if you, this is this is called section box okay this this will be once I selected this is called a section box so you can clearly visible all the systems and everything over here this is just an overview for the courses okay so the next class I will explain how to do the things and everything okay so they arranged like properly there will be a beams and everything and even the conduits also so I'm selecting this one so you can see the conduits we can select it and wherever it's going uh, you can see from here and I'm just giving a shader again so otherwise I can give a constraint colors anything you can give any colors for this one and hidden a hidden line or wireframe so whatever things you required so you can implement it over here so I'm just giving this one like a shaded view so you can see here the DAGs and SUs and everything it will be there right yeah see this one this is the pipe for the pipe that but, but that was linked with this model so that is what we can have to see this is a drainage pipe okay so and even this is the duct and this is the FCU and everything so they they are properly fixed on that one so we can see here how it's run and everything so this is the one thing and um, and another things like uh, uh, here is a floor plan also for example the power distribution plan okay power distribution design so if you are, if you can see here some some other power distribution elements are there and other things uh, power distribution design for others power distribution so the these things are you can get at least here is some the some of the data points if they can add they adjusted over here so like that you can check the all the things and and to just go to lighting and ceiling lighting plus ceiling plan lighting just go here so you will be get a lighting from here right so if the circuit numbers are showing over here 
that we can change it easily so if you are uh, if you are need to check the check the uh, panel name is what 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 they are used so select this one and uh, and i think this is this is for which which panel electrical circuit and lp00 so we need to find the lp00 in the power plan or something like why yeah, power plan is here so l0 conduits case mm. floor plan is go to the power plan okay so maybe we can find some our our db dbs from here okay and large little parking okay so if we can see here this is la this is a ceiling light and where is our panels yeah see here is the panel okay so i am i can change this one to uh, because you can see here i will show you one thing okay so you can see here in this plan it is showing lp00 11 something like that normally we are using ryb okay for that we just need to go to e es type es otherwise go to system and you can give the electrical settings from here okay just uh, go to general and here you can change this ryb ryb just click okay and then what you need to do we just need to go to the power plan and select this one select this one and uh, we can change from here circuit naming okay circuit naming by phase so what will happen the circuit name will be change see now this is come under r1 r2 like that right so if you have any questions just ask me something so that was changing like this okay so the same process for all the things so this is just a, just a introduction for the uh, settings and everything how they are did it and you can you can create your own legends over here okay you can just go to the lighting symbols you can create the lighting symbols easily from here so for that you just need to go to annotate and uh, if you have a component okay legend component so if you can place one one legend component over here okay right so then then select this one so you can get all the uh, things from here okay what are the things we use over here so you will be get it that way. for example i am i'm sure just check with that lighting wall lamp so that legend will come up over here so you can give the you can give some tags for this one so what are the description you want to give so just give okay, for example this is w1 for example i'm just giving this one w1 okay w1 wall wall mounted light so this is the way we need to create all the uh, systems in a, a rivet and even even we can power symbols also you can create it i see you can see the, all the things and uh, they are arranged like this and next is a schedule so we can just uh, create a schedule for all the systems okay so for example main mdbs and everything is here and the load anal analysis and everything you can get it from here see it is it is clearly uh, mentioned over here so you can you can create easily all the things in the rivet okay so the what are the input you giving so it will automatically develop okay i will i will take teach you everything uh, like in the next classes like this so, so this just this is just an introduction for the from this tower sample projects okay so electrical equipment schedule okay if you need electrical equipment schedule so you can get it from here by level base okay which are the levels you have so level base you can create so this is a very important in a rivet so if those who are working so easily they can, you can uh, you can con, uh, you can get the quantities how many numbers are using and phases panel names and everything you will be get from here easily you can create the uh, schedules from the rivet linked model summaries summary okay so that is also one of the uh, filter options so you can get it that one and uh, meter bank schedule so that is also you will be get it from here whatever whatever things is 
you create a that you can get sheet index for the uh, our our which are the systems and everything we you uh, drawings we need to create it so you will be getting that one and space outdoor schedules so that is also you will be get and then the panel schedule we can create it so i will show you how to how they created the so each each for example lp001 so they are already created all the uh, panel schedules for the electricals okay so you can create a panel schedule in the rivet and sheets so if you need a lighting plan sheets so you can create it easily so this is just an interface for the um, tutorial uh, for electrical rivet so i will i will teach you one by one uh, all the things how how it works and everything okay so for example if you go to the lighting tree so you will be get all the things from here right so here also it is showing like a 10 so you need to find the db and uh, you just need to um, you just need to change that one okay for example power l3 so just select that one go l3 and uh, we can get the things from here right where it was if you go to the 3d view total you can see all the things have come up over like this right so it, 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 the, one of the benefit is this one so you, you can easily visualize the things how it's run and everything wherever it's getting if you are getting some clashes okay so you can see it from here uh, like uh, if, if I, i'll show you okay just uh, uh, scroll down this one sorry so it's moved maybe you don't want to try to move it everything okay i'm just uh, waiting for that warning message okay so select this one and you can see all the uh, views and everything from here just scroll down yeah you can see the building structures and everything and the pipes are going over here okay so for example i'm just dropping down from here okay from up to this lab level so now you can see all the conduits are coming and going right from our outside uh, boxes okay so here it is showing some best bars and everything so this is the way normally um, like uh, we are doing this uh, uh, what is called electrical design so those who are working in electrical and everything they can easily think these things and, uh, and another thing is like a power is there okay so what is this and panel schedules so we can create the panel schedules and we can uh, do the things and switchboard metering band lot of things you can do it in every way easily you can do the things in every way so just uh, uh, i will just uh, crop bridge region so we just i'm selecting this one and i'm just clicking this one so you can if you want to see more for this view about the uh, uh, electrical and mechanical in the same pro for so you can do the things like this so this is a very useful uh, useful software in uh, or, uh, uh, architectural engineering in industry so try to use that one and get experience and join the assembly model or something like that so this is a very important tool in a, in AZ industry i think uh, less people are watching my video so i'm winding up the right now and i will start with the project on next time yeah thank